Oh god, not another bloody video about replicas. Well, I have just launched two videos about real guns, so come on, cut me a break. Anyway, oh hey, she's lively. Denix Sten Gun, there she is. What can you do to up the realism on it and, uh, well, tweak it really, because let's face it, half of the joy of guns and things that look like guns is playing with them really, isn't it? And making little alterations. Well, you can stick a sling on it. Here we have an original sling. Fit it by sticking it through. Dun, dun, dun. He's cocked it up already. Always pays to do a practice run first. There we go. Through, like so. And through. There we go. Buckle. And then the hook. What you want to do is hook that through one of your barrel guard holes, like so. Oh. She's not going to go because that's the wrong hole, dummy. Oh, I love it. There we go. Hook it through the end, like so. I don't know why I tried to stick it in the wrong hole. I <laughs> stuck it in the wrong hole so I could come out with the wrong hole joke. Sorry about that, I do apologise. Anyway, there you go, sling. And these dated ones, um, they're pretty cheap, really, to be honest, for what they are. And they do add a nice bit of realism, because whenever you buy your replica and it looks all shiny, new, whatever, beat it up, um, you know, work out where your wear points are, Attack them with wire wool to shine them up. Obviously, I haven't done any of that to this one, but you know where your finger would go, it would wear off the finish, things like bits that are activated all the time, that sort of thing, like your bolt, all that sort of thing. The finish is going to wear off. So, if you scuff that with, you could even use a scouring pad if you wanted to, if you don't have any wire wool, but anyway, that sort of thing, and it'll do it a treat, really. It'll get it looking older. It won't get it looking old, but older, certainly. Got to bear in mind, the material this is made out of isn't going to rust. Your magazine might rust, but this won't. So you can't add realism through rust, you've got to add it through wear. There you go. What else can you do? Well, if like me, you find the uh, butt that it comes with just that bit too perfect. And there was a point made in one of the comments about, yeah, if it was looking like they actually came out of the factory, we'd all be sending it back and saying, this looks terrible. Fair enough, yeah, but um, that's how they're supposed to look. And if you don't like how it's supposed to look, don't complain about it. So, one thing I will say though, actually, is the butt it comes with is probably a better fit than a factory one. Would have been on a real stand. How do I know? Because I've tried. So, what can you do? Well, you can actually use off the butt. Uh, I don't know if you saw that. Refitting. Ah, you pain. This is the problem with trying to lean around a camera. There we go. It's this button here that you press. In, down, off. And because of the next step, I'm going to take that sling we just fitted back off again to make it a little bit handier. I'm going to take the magazine out. What you can do is you can buy the butt off of a real Sten, or in my case, because I can't afford one, and I'm a cheapskate, a replica one, and fit that instead. I think that makes it look a bit more purposeful than that and all these weld pits and things like that is, and the play in it as well. I think with up the realism factor, it's spray painted black, I think the guns were actually spray painted black, um, I don't think they were even blued, I'm not 100% sure on that. If someone tells me and provides documentary proof that they were blued, I'll shut blast this off and I'll blew it, you know, because I like things like that. It gives me something to do, keeps me out of the house. Especially tomorrow, it's the father-in-law's birthday. Oh, we've got them all day. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway, that's the butt sorted out. Let's move this to one side. There we go. Unfortunately, this isn't blue, Peter. I don't have one I prepared earlier. It would be nice to have two of them. What else can you do? Well, 
your SOE, your uh, probably your resistance, that sort of thing, your commandos, you could get a moderator. Now, I don't think it was like a silenced and that weird squelching sound you see on the movies, but I think it probably did cut down on the noise a bit. I do like this feature on the end. It's not just a piece of black tubing. They've actually gone to the effort of actually giving some detail to it. You've got this nice hand guard on it to uh, protect against heat so you could hold on to the moderator and trying to hold on to the magazine. All pretty good features. There is one really super offensive thing. Why have they used PosiDrive screws? I mean, that kind of spoils it for me. So I'm going to replace them with some just slot head screws. Probably some counters, countersunk slot head screws or maybe even some, some cheese screws. I'm going to do a bit of research on the internet and find out. But yeah, we can't really have PosiDrive screws. That's just... That's just lazy. That's just hardware store laziness. Um, yeah, I'm not impressed by that. So, how does it fit? Well, your handguard here, barrel, heat shield, whatever you want to call it, it's got the holes in and they line up. Not perfectly, I hasten to add, but they do line up. So you whiz out your screws and with the magic of editing you will join me when all six screws have been removed because who wants to watch me unscrew screws? That's really, really dull. There we go, screws are removed, in and you'll straight away see what I mean about they don't actually line up perfectly, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Yeah, see, that one's centralized and then this one's off. It's bit annoying. Now what you always want to be doing when you're doing things like this is, I only did that to demonstrate what I'm talking about, don't do them all up tight straight away. Leave the slop because you need the slop. Everybody needs a bit of slop in their life. See that thread there? There's one that's not been tapped too well. Probably got paint in it to be honest. Because these screws have just been painted as well. It's all it's all a bit it's all a bit Disney. Yeah, see with that tightened up there. See how these aren't see how they're off the holes underneath. So yeah, always as I say, leave it loose. And then you're going to need to walk it in. Forgive the heavy breathing. I always come out with some excuse, but it's just because I'm out of breath. I've had COVID three or maybe even four times. I didn't test the last time, which I know is irresponsible, but Come to the point now in the UK where there's no point. Anybody could have COVID. We don't have to stay home. We don't have to do anything. We'd come into work if we're fit to work. So yeah, everybody's just got to crack on and live with it. That's such is life. Come on, get in the blood. Oh, it's always fiddly trying to stick it in the hole when you can't see the hole. You should always keep the hole revealed. If there's anything in the way of the hole, trim it back, you know, so as you can see it. There we go. Now you may notice that my barrel guard is spinning around and uh, I've got the comment section to thank for that. Helpful suggestion of someone telling me how to remove it and uh, it won't remove, but at the same time it won't go back on again, so thanks for that. Comments section. I love you, but 
I'm going to take what you say with a pinch of salt for the moment. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to break my stuff, thanks. These screws are really not good quality. Anyway, there we go. What I am going to do, fit longer screws so as they actually go through and hold the handguard to the barrel, because that way it's going to... Where's that? Oh, there's some damn magazine. I'm blathering away. Yeah, that way it'll stop it spinning. But uh, I'm sure you'll say, I agree with me, that's um, it's quite purposeful now, isn't it? Lighting in here is terrible. If this was the BBC and you're paying for it, you'd uh, all be complaining about where's my license fee going. But it's YouTube, it's free, so please don't complain. I'm doing the best I can. I, I like it, I must say. I like that. That that and the butt, I think, I think that's really set it off. It's took it from what looked like oh, a stem gun, basically, to, yeah... It's, it's pretty purposeful now. So, yeah, uh, to quote uh, to quote Air Gun Action, I really like it. So, sorry, Matt. I do love your show, but uh, it does make my wife and I laugh every time you say, I, I really like it. But that's good, because I'm glad that you really like everything that you review. That's, that's fantastic. Um, I wish I was the same. On, the, on that note, actually, by the way, someone really attacked me in the comments section about the fact that I'm honest with my reviews. Uh, apparently, what I should do with my reviews, I love this, was I should get whatever it is I'm reviewing, and bear in mind that I buy everything that I review, no one sends me anything. Uh, more on that later. And what I should do, as I say, is I should buy whatever it is. I think he thought that I was being sent it, but anyway then watch everyone else's video, everyone else that's reviewed it, watch their videos, see what they say, and then what I should do is say the same thing, because obviously they're right and I'm wrong. Um, so I went back and said, right, um, no, sorry mate, but no, that's, that's just silly, and that's just really not acceptable, because that's... Well, that's not what my channel's based on, for a start. And also, that's that's against freedom of speech. And coming from an American, I was quite surprised at that, because the Americans are very big on freedom of speech, and rightly so. And, yeah, I was very disappointed. I'll, I'll put it there, by the way. I know that it wouldn't have gone there, but that's the best place for it to go on this particular gun, because that does nothing. So, yeah. Um, here we go. Sling on. So, yeah, a bit of scuffing bit of buffing on this to uh, make it look worn and I'm pretty happy with that. What I do particularly like about this replica uh, silencer, moderator, sorry, is the fact that they haven't done the Soldier of Fortune absolutely brand new like it's just come out of the factory with this heat shield. If it's Soldier of Fortune that would be a bit of K-canvas webbing material on there and it would be absolutely crisp, perfectly brand new, to the point where you probably wouldn't actually be able to fit it if you took it off, because the material's so stiff. It probably wouldn't even fit very well, because the material would be so stiff. And fair play to them, Soldier of Fortune, I get it, you do everything as if it's brand new, whereas this, it's grubby, it's, you know, moulded around, the material actually looks like it's had a bit of wear. That I like, that I do like, that's attention to detail. So, yeah, there we go. Denix Sten Gun modified. Yep, yeah, I'm happy with that. Well happy, as I say. Bit of ageing on it, and that will be complete. And for me to have actually completed a project gun, well, that is something to say. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could like, share and subscribe, that would be fantastic. If you didn't like the video, pop a little comment to say why, and I'll endeavour to improve for next time. Don't just leave me a dislike and don't say why you didn't like it, because that's just rude. It doesn't help anyone, doesn't help me, doesn't help you, so yeah, say why you didn't like it. There you go.